it's there for Japan. The victory is there. Rush it is, one minute and 27 seconds into his first full test match. It's a red hot, hot beginning by the All Black. Wilson sewing him up, but he can't see the fullback coming at him. In for the try, that's one that went coast to coast. It's going to run away, and that's the perfect touch. And there is the score, 145 to 17. The Japanese players gave, as we knew they would, everything in the game, but they were simply outplayed and outclassed. A devastating day for Japan. I mean, I think everyone realised you know, Japan was one of those teams they get beaten 50 to 20, and at the end of the game, everyone would clap. And the players would be happy with that, and we had to change that. to this. Here we go! Hester! Come on, I'm not surprised. Of, we came out here to do a job and, you know, we've been training, like I said, we've been training for this for the past four years, so, um, yeah, I know the whole world Surprised, but uh, you know, in, in our camp, you know, we, we always knew that they could do it. They said they were come, going to come out firing, uh, just not good enough from the box. No, they say enough is enough. We have done enough in this World Cup. We have won again. Three wins for Japan. Hosting in four years' time. How good will they be? I think everybody's been since the most open World Cup there's ever been. You know, six or seven teams can win this thing, and I think from a home perspective, from a Japanese perspective, you know, they've got a good chance to get through the knockout stages as well, which will be fantastic for the World Cup. So yes, it's a real exciting time to be, you know, in Tokyo and in Japan. No animosity, they're just a really good vibe, isn't there, across each of those fan sites? The thing that a lot of TV viewers might be seeing is the players bowing at the end of matches. And, you know, you, you see images and videos on social media of fans queuing up to even just watch training sessions. So it's been, it's been so good to really experience that warmth. It's the second weekend at the Rugby World Cup. Japan know how to beat a giant. Can they do it at the World Cup they are hosting? No, I mean, the guys understand how big a challenge, you know, trying to beat Ireland is going to be, but there's self-belief in our group. There always has been. I don't think anyone gives, actually gives us a chance to win the Test match, but I mean, we've, what we've said to each other is we've been preparing for this game for well over a year. I think Ireland started on Monday, so that's, that's a step in the right direction for us. Three play, Taraka Back looks up. Luck for damage. It's Super typhoon tracking towards Japan. Powerful typhoon forming to the south of Japan. The Rugby World Cup clash between England and France has been cancelled as a typhoon tracks towards Japan. I checked the weather up this morning. It did look like it was heading into to Tokyo this weekend. Welcome back to the World Rugby Podcast. We are huddled in rooms all across the country. There's still the contention around whether or not the Japan v Scotland game will go ahead. If there are 70,000 in the 
stadium, then you know Japan. It will help Japan. Look, it's a difficult one to call. I would just favour Japan. I don't know. They've just got this wave of emotion, and uh, feels like their time. Doesn't it does it? feel like their time. It's a home. Home World Cup, isn't it? And it would be fun, you know, like, nothing against Scotland, but it'd be absolutely fantastic if Japan did get through to the quarterfinals. Welcome to Yokohama for the match many thought might never happen. Against all odds, we're here for the showdown between Japan and Scotland that will decide Pool A and determine our last Rugby World Cup quarterfinalist. Once more, now there might be trouble for Kyoko. Brilliant! Brilliant off the floor! And in goes Matsushima! Just gets up, he's so physically okay that in Japan. The offloading game is unbelievable, and so too the stepping left for That is unbelievable! Japan finding something special for another attacking opportunity, and they've got it through Fukuoka! Japan riding a wave of emotion tonight. He's off, and he's away! Kenji Fukuoka! First goal was to get of our pool out of our pool stages and uh, give us a chance to set the quarterfinal. So we've achieved that goal, but now we've uh, we've got to shift the goalposts and and try and win this quarterfinal against Africa. Um, I can tell you now, um, we're not just we haven't we're not satisfied with what we've got so far. We're going to come out uh, against Africa and go for the win. between the players and the fans really can't hold their heads up by this Japanese team. 